Hey, what's up? It's Wizard Fu. This is another video making the game Load Ragger 5 vs. 5. Check it out. Look what I'm working on now. Last video was about spawning AI. This time, it's about debug commands. Whoa, this is some important stuff. So I can press these buttons, right, to do different types of commands which have which do things in debug mode only. So if I press number one, it will kill me. So there, I've just pressed the number one. It hurts me so much that I die, I become a ghost, and and then I can use and go pick up the axe to become a lumberjack again or something like that. So I haven't figured out exactly how you'll become human again except to do that. And I kind of like it this way. You go pick up a weapon and suddenly you're human again because then you have to go back to the base. But it's also kind of cool because if you build a building way outside of your base, like so, say we go over here and you build the knight's lair, or whatever, so you can become a knight right here. Um, then you wouldn't have to go all the way back to your base to become human again if you die. So not exactly sure if that will be the right way to do it in the end, but it's it's a thought. Maybe that. Um, but anyways, press number two, and that hurts all the foes on the screen. I've already killed them all, so there doesn't do anything right now. Press number three turns on God mode, so I can run through trees and run extremely fast and. Um, that's super helpful. All these things are super helpful for debugging stuff. There, I just hurt some foes. Let's hurt all the foes again. Boom, they're all dead. Turn off God mode. There's also invincibility mode, so you're just invincible and nobody can hurt you. Uh, so there's some other things, though. These are super important. The cycling the debug verbosity. So I'm going to press a button that cycles the, the verbosity, basically. Press it once. It turns on verbosity to show the current frames per second, the current tick the amount of memory the game's using, and the number of visible sprites on the screen. Press it again and it shows AI. So the thoughts of the AI, this is also really, really so handy. Um, it shows how many entities there are in the top left of the screen, but then right here on this AI, the creep spawner, it's showing the delay until it runs its next behavior tree leaf. So as soon as that D gets down to zero, it will spawn some more AI. So once again, all these things are just super helpful things to have when you're developing a game. Just debug commands. Commands that, oh, another one is slowing down time. So I press the, another key and it slows down time. So you can see certain animations happen really in super detail or speed up time if you if you want things to spawn. You know, if I wanted these enemies to spawn faster, I could have just, actually, let's just do that. Let's turn on, well, I actually, invincibility is not gonna work. Whoa! Oh! Getting, getting just reamed here. Anyway, so there's that. And also, you notice one more little thing. Um, whenever I uh, use these commands, hold on, let's turn back time back to what it's supposed to be. Whenever I use one of these commands, it actually animates the the words. It says God Mode Enabled. It's animating. It's fading in. It's flashing it color, color red, and then it fades out after a delay. There's a new action system, which makes all that happen. So let's We'll look at that in a second. Um, or actually, no, we'll look at that in the next video. So here's the here's how the input system handles these debug commands. These are separate from normal commands, like where you would bind your key to uh, move the character upwards or bind another key so that you could use the first action button for your your current character class, something like that. Um, this is These are separate that happen only in debug mode. And here in input system construct, it actually goes and sets up its debug command codes. Um, these are this is kind of an improvement over Songbringer, where it bas basically is you can register different functions. So it's actually calling a function called debug command kill self whenever it triggers this uh, command kill self, and uh, this is all based on a setting as well. So it loads it from your settings. So I can actually let's let's take a look at that. Saves. Oops. Oops. Um, here are the debug commands. I've set them up so that, like, kill self is one, kill all is two. Debug, show, showing the debug verbosity cycles is key Y. And then, so it loads those from the settings and then apply, sets the debug command code inside uh, the input. So, input is part of KitFu. KitFu is a, uh, a game engine wrapper layer, so I can compile everything once and then, and then compile LoadRagger separately, which makes LoadRagger compile really fast. So, this set debug command code is calling is ultimately calling input register debug, debug command 
uh, after it parses whatever key one represents as an integer or an enum, and then it goes to the input system, registers it, basically it's just pushing it back as a debug command. And let's see how the input system actually uses the debug commands. Um, here it is. Basically, when you're buffering up input, this is probably not the most accurate place to put this code. If it were more accurate, it would actually be when it uses the input buffer, not when it buffers up the input. But it doesn't matter at all because this is debug mode. And so the input doesn't have to be super duper perfectly timed and free of any debug, free of any errors, which the input buffer allows basically just super accurate input um, to it's an input to happen on exactly the right tick. Uh, debug commands doesn't matter. So basically, it just cycles through its debug commands, looks for um, if whenever this input is being buffered up, it, like for example, if you're buffering up the key Y, um, it would look through and find that the, the debug command for toggling the verbosity was triggered, and then it would call that function, which, which we saw back in input system. So input system, let's look at uh, the debug command for, uh, de there's debug, this is cycling the verbosity. So it gets the current render system verbosity and cycles it up between zero and three. So that's how that works, super simple. And then command god mode is just cha changing the player's current movement mask and current movement speed. So it turns off all of its move mask when it turns on god mode so that you can run through trees. And then it also makes you super faster. So there you go, some debug commands. Oh, this feels really good to have this in there because um, now I can, I can really get, uh, it's, it's super easy to see what what is going on in, for example, the AI system. Where you can look at an actual AI and see how it's thinking and what current sequence it's running and what its de delay timers are. And all these little details help to um, make debugging much easier. So that's another video in the Low Ragger series. Hope you learned something or enjoyed this video or something. Cheers.